Ooh, what is going on guys and welcome back to the Griffin Outdoors channel. My name is Ty as always and today we are at the Walter F. George Reservoir here and I think we're near Georgetown, Alabama. That's the just city I just came from to get here. But we are at Petula Park. It's an army, uh, an army Corps Park when the army, um, what's it called? The army engineers maintenance. So it's really nice. This is a really pretty park and we are going to, we're actually the only ones here which is freaking awesome. But we're going to be fishing right down there off that dock by the boat ramp. So that's our fishing location for today. Hopefully we have some luck. The first thing we're going to be throwing is a rooster tail because I have it tied on. But I'm going to get my GoPro on and get the fishing bag and we will head out over there. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, while we're walking down to the boat ramp, I got all my stuff on. Talk a little about my, my gear setup. This is a Shimano. This is a Shimano Sienna 2000 size reel. Uh, it's a little dirty. Got a little clay on it now. Oof. And then with a 10 pound uh, braid. I think this is a uh, this Power Pro. Power Pro. Um, uh, what should I call V2 uh, in the 10. 10 pound Power Pro V2 in the high vis aqua green variety, and this is super slick as well. And then this is a, obviously a little yellow rooster tail, and this is my rod Daiwa Laguna six foot medium fast action. And yeah, so that's what the gear we're using today. So here's our little dock we're gonna be going for. So we're gonna come down here and we'll see what we can catch. I think I'm gonna throw this like right here. I'm gonna sit right there and I'm gonna throw back towards the bank. This little rooster tail help keep it out of the wind. We've got this grass here as well we can throw along. Oh, it's really clear. For a lake anyway. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just because it's shallow right there. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. But you're going in GoPro mode. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to GoPro mode. Anyway, so here's my little yellow rooster tail that we are going to be throwing. And the first thing I'm going to do gonna sort of chuck this right there I'm gonna let this sink down and we'll see if anything wants to bite this nothing on that first attempt but I don't think that was a very good spot we want to more get it over drag it along the this than drag it out Let's do this. Try and go. Oh, you freaker, get off of there. All right, here we go. Oh, I got a little bait fish right under me. Oh, I guess the little bait fish just attempted to bite the the rooster tail that's as big as him. Oh, we got little minnows right here. If only I had my cast net. Let's try and jig the, see if maybe jig the rooster tail along the grass. Maybe something will come out and get it. Target species with this is probably like a bluegill or a, or a crappy, crappy speck, whatever you call them. I call them specks, usually. Let's go over, let's throw under the dock. Not there, that wasn't what I was trying to do, but that might work. Though maybe, that actually would be good for here. Oh my gosh, I just threw that. I just threw that an insane distance. Oh, 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 did it get hit? We're getting hit, guys. Eat it, you little. Oh, we got him. We got him. I didn't think we got him. First fish already. 
look at the second of the trip little red breast oh you crap stay put stay put i need to get your picture for the youtube you go back in about five seconds calm yourself look at that easy money on the rooster tail rooster tail never fails to catch the dinks the rooster tail i like to say is the Whenever you can't catch any fishing bass, catfish or something, you can almost always catch a little dinky sunfish on the rooster. Oh my gosh, there's about a million bait fish swimming under this dock. This might be an insane spot. To the squad. I got a family group chat so they can see all the cool stuff I'm going to do. You know, you got to brag to the family members every once in a while, you know. And I get to Oh, oh, that's a, that's a decent, that was a decent one. We got him on. Look at this. We're going crazy already. We're going insane early. Let's go, bluegill. Oh. Once in a while, you know. I get, oh. Stay, stay down, stay down. Look at this, we are insane already! Calm yourself! I don't got time for you, that's a, that's a slab right there! Oh, that? That's interesting. Well, nope, don't wanna, don't wanna see that. All three treble hooks got in. Now another picture for the picture for the picture for the peeps right here. There we go. Them early, guys. There's two. Sling it back over there. I mean there is instant instant hookups on the rooster. I don't care that they're inches long. If this thing catches a bass, this will achieve goat status. Oh, it's getting hit already. Come on, three in a row. No, dang it. We missed. Oh my god, there was one chasing all the way in. And that was the, that was the biggest one of all. Oh, that's a pretty shot. Look out there. Look at that, that sort of, that coastline. I, oh, hit it. He just needs one slip up on the rooster and he's dealt, he's gone. Bring it back this way. He's nipping at it. Did, he, did we catch him? No. Unfortunate. They are loving this. Back to back casts. Caught fish by the rooster. Red... The red breast and a, and a decent bluegill. We know you're going to hit it. Just do it already. Get it over with. Oh. Come on. They're hitting it. Are you still chasing it? He is. He followed it all the way in, nipping at it the whole. Maybe I need to work it a little slower. Oh, little hit there. Come on. Getting all these little hits. We need another slab to hit it. It would be nice if we get like a a speck or a small bass or something would want to eat this probably. I don't think we're gonna catch any like three pounders on this thing, but probably wants a bigger meal than this. But maybe we could catch like a um, 
like, like a half pound or a pound bass, that would be nice. Well, now they don't want to eat this thing anymore. They still what happened to their buddies and all better of it. Well, let's see, maybe we can throw this a little farther out. That was in the same spot, but whatever. Lucky wind. Oh my god. Oh, we got him. Got him. He's a slab, too. Look at that. Yes. Another one bites the dust. Oh my god. Oh god. Calm yourself. I ain't trying to get stuck with a treble hook. Got him. Yes, sir. This thing's gonna stick me, isn't it? This little turd. Yes. Got him again. Oh, he got impaled again three times. That's one thing that sucks about these treble hooks. Got it. All right, we saved him. Oh, I didn't take a picture. Dang it. Oh, well. But there is three bluegills, guys. Or th one red breast and two. We are going crazy right now. Let's go a little bit out further into the end in the deep here. Just because why not? Maybe we'll, catch a, maybe we'll screw around and catch a bass. Tell you what oh oh there it is easy easy again again oh it's a it's another giant yes oh, is that a pumpkin seed new species that's a pumpkin seed there it is oh nice only one hook got in perfect look at that that's how you do it right there Fast catch, fast release, well, fast catch, fast unhook, and fast pick. Look at that. Smile. Easy. Look at that. You f leave. Number four on the day. And we've been, we've been, we've been here 30 minutes, caught, no, not even, 25 minutes, caught four fish. Sure. This is craziness. We're going, you, you best believe we're going out deeper again. Look at that. This is the promised land of hand fishing right here. Woo! Apparently I'm just not good at river fishing. As we come out here into the lake and we mean business. Come on, easy money. Oh my gosh, there it is. He crushed it. Whoa, giant red breast. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. That's the biggest red breast I've ever seen in my life. Are you serious right now? Are you kidding me? No, you little crap. Are you kidding me? Now look at the size of this red breast. Are you serious? Ho! Ho! 
Look at the sun. That's a slab. Oh my gosh. They crushed it. Oh my gosh. That's number five. Number five on deck. Absolute giant. They can't resist the they can't resist the rooster. The rooster is still the best bait of all time. We might throw a bigger one out here, see if we can catch a bass. I have large ones too. This is my smallest model. I'll tell you what, y'all need to jump on this rooster tail train for sure. If you're just trying to catch a fish, if the bass ain't biting, throw one of these on and you can still have fun. Look at this, we are crushing them right now. Five and thirty. Five fish, thirty minutes. And some slabs. See, you see that? That one is crazy. I've never seen a red breast that big in my life. This is fun. Drill it. Come on. Uh, now I don't want to eat anymore. They're too scared. They're scared of my powers and they've all vacated. Crazy. Got all about 80 bait fish following this rock here. Good slingage on that one. Oh, look at the whole school. Those look like shiners or something right there. Look at them. Can you see those? I can see them with my glasses. I don't know if you can see those, but they're right, they're right under over there now. Look like shiners and minnows and all kind of stuff. Or right at the dock, I mean. Oh, there it is. Got him. Oh, this one's pulling drag. Oh! Huge! Look at that! Another one. Another giant. Stop. You're only making this worse for yourself. Dude, chill out. That's another one of these oil hunters. Oh, nope. There's... Just would like to make sure this other hook doesn't get stuck in him as well. Oh, there it is. There it is. There is number, what is that, six or seven? Right, gotta check, but first, you know, we gotta take a picture. Another slab bluegill. Stop! Oh, no, this is number six. Fish six, a slab bluegill. And there he goes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the truck. You know, we just had to go show them who's boss. You know what I'm saying? They didn't want to eat it at the river. That's okay. We just came under the lake six and 30 minutes. You know that's right. That's how we roll here on the Griffin Outdoors channel. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm usually complete trash, but I don't know. I have the secret sauce today. That was crazy. But anyway, now my hands smell like fish, and now I'm in the truck. So let's. That's not never good. But anyway, so we're going now. I was planning to go to another park south of here. Unfortunately, um, I looked and I'm low on gas. And I, well, I'm not low, low. I still got like a little under a quarter tank. But I don't want to take any chances, especially when I'm up here by myself, you know. So I'm going, and I was looking. I thought it would be some gas stations around here. But there's not. The closest one's back in Georgetown. So we're just going to go there. And I have another park marked that we're going to go to after that it's just a um it's on the north side of the lake instead of the south side so that's where we're gonna go but that will be in the next video thank you guys so so much for watching i'll see you probably not gonna film again until we get to the gas station when we're driving but thank you guys so so much for watching i'll see you in the next video griffin outdoors is out peace